Tom Compton is coming home and will be reunited with Kirk Cousins. The free agent guard, a Rose Mountain native, signed Thursday with the Vikings. He called it a dream to play for the team he grew up following. I just want to say, super excited to be here, back home, Compton said. Among Compton's best friends is Cousins, the quarterback who signed a three-year, $84 million contract last week with the Vikings. The two were Washington Redskins teammates from 2012 to 15 and roommates at training camp. Extremely close with Kirk, said Compton, who played last season with the Chicago Bears. He's a good friend of mine that we got to play together four years in Washington and as soon as I heard the news that he was coming here. Deep down I hoped we would be able to reunite again, so it definitely played a part in it. The fact that I had that opportunity, it wasn't the only factor, but it definitely was one. Compton's mother, Karen Compton, said Cousins is the best friend of Compton. She said the two are so close that, when Compton was with Atlanta in 2016, Cousins attended some Falcons playoff games during their run to the Super Bowl. The two of them always talked about their dream would be the two of them back together again. Karen Compton said, in the offseason, the two play in the rock band Midnight Pilot, with Cousins on vocals and Compton on the drums. Compton had a cameo in the 2015 movie Sharknado 3. Oh hell no, that he got thanks to Cousins. They asked Kirk to do it and he couldn't. But he said, I know the perfect person to do it, said Karen Compton. Compton, who played at Rosemount High School in the University of South Dakota, entered the NFL in 2012 as a Redskins sixth-round pick. The Redskins picked up Cousins, who played at Michigan State. Two rounds earlier, in the fourth, the two first met before the draft at the NFL Scouting Combine. Compton, a six-year veteran, can play both guard and tackle. He has started 16 of the 71 NFL games in which he has appeared, including five at guard for the Bears in 2017. The plan right now is to start out at guard and see how that goes but also be able to plug in at other spots, Compton said. That's kind of what I was doing most of my career. Just bouncing around different positions. So I think we'll see how guard goes. Joe Berger, the Vikings starting right guard last season, is a free agent and might retire. If Berger doesn't return and the Vikings don't move tackle Mike Remmers to guard, there would be an opening for a starter at that spot. It's really up to the coaches. Compton said, I want to see what they think but I'm definitely here to compete for a starting spot. That's my mentality. If he doesn't start, Compton will provide depth on the offensive line. The Vikings also could lose versatile lineman Jeremiah Searles, who is a free agent. Contract terms were not disclosed. Compton made $1.85 million in 2017 on a one-year contract with the Bears. His latest deal came together after the Vikings reached out to Compton's agent on Tuesday. He agreed to terms Wednesday and then notified members of his family. Obviously, my family is very excited that I get to be back home, said Compton, who flew to the Twin Cities from Chicago on Thursday morning and signed his contract after passing. His physical, I didn't realize that I was calling my sister, Jamie. While she was driving, she almost got in an accident. I think, Karen Compton said Compton's sister, who lives in Street, Paul, was so excited she took her hands off the wheel and screamed. But there was no mishap. People are coming out of the woodwork to offer congratulations, said Compton's mother. It's amazing having him come home.